difficult is it to train a two-year-old trotter to pace or to trot? Well, our man Kenny Rice has been watching that and follows the story. About 20% of each standard bred yearling crop consists of them. Most tracks avoid having many races for them. Many trainers will not attempt to prepare them for racing. But this man, Ned Bauer, whose training career consists of 35 years in four different decades, trains them and only them. That's been his policy for 15 years now. They are trotters, those diagonally gated harness racers who often have difficulty sustaining a trotting gait for one mile as they get older, much less sustaining one when they are two years old. Bauer likes the challenge. He has trained Joe V, Pershing, Anvil, Shortstop, and Dim Bones. He especially likes training the two-year-olds. Pacer, you put the hobbles on him, and that pretty well establishes his gait. He can't, uh, you know, do anything else but pace. With a trotter, you have to uh, use weight and link the toe, and the angle's important, and you have to shoo them away from interference. Uh, you start out with a 7-8 ounce shoe, some wear less weight. A trainer that's trained can, after he's uh, driven the horse a while, he makes up his mind what shoe he wants on the horse. It is still difficult, but each year it gets easier to train two-year-old trotters, and the reason is because of the breeding line. In the last 10, 15 years, trotters have become more natural due to selective breeding. When I first started 35 years ago, it was quite a chore. You had to use a lot of weight to get the trotters gated. Anymore, the, you just put a nice light shoe on them, and they're pretty well naturally gated horses. Years ago, they used to switch a lot of the trotters to pacers that... Uh, had to carry too much weight or when they got maybe a little sore anymore the they don't do much of that uh, it's, the pacing business is so tough anymore and it takes such a tremendous horse that the converts don't really don't make it well the break in the harness racing of course is a thing to avoid but when a horse does break they're not automatically disqualified no the driver must avoid interfering with the other horses usually take him to the outside and of course the horse can't gain any advantage by his little run he's going to have to lose ground in fact they generally lose an awful lot of ground as they try to get him back on stride 